Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator, where we are currently in the process of rebuilding this Mazda. It is such a nice looking car. Hang on, can we see that? There you go, little name badge, Mazda RX-3. And I'm guessing that's the old Mazda logo. I think. I don't know. But the m one thing with Mazda RX range, the RX-3, the RX-7, the RX-8 as well, I think, is all of them use a rotary engine like this. So they have weird looking pistons, pretty much. So what we're going to do, we're going to bin this engine. Just going to get rid of it and we are gonna create a new rotary engine I think it's rotary 2 yeah rotary 2 I think we'll go for that right so the first part we need is a intermediate housing ROTA we can also get ourselves a fuel filter Uh, what's the search button? X. I might put in R O T. There we go. Here, yeah, this one. I don't know what we need, so I'm just buying a load of stuff. Uh, so we can mount the intermediate housing. We need ourselves a crankshaft. Um, I think that should be alright. Uh, let's put the crankshaft in. And then we can put our rotors in. Wow, that engine actually looks pretty cool when you put the rotors in. And we can fit ourselves a rotor in there. We need four spark plugs for this. We need front side housing and rear side housing. And we also need four spark plugs. Uh, front side housing. So this one is just going to be a complete restoration. It's not going to be performance. So we're literally just restoring it with stock parts. Um, if we go into here, we can mount ourselves our housings. Right, so we need a crankshaft counterweight, a sprocket, and an oil pan. If I put ROT again, we should find everything though. So we need one of them. I think we need one of them. Um, I think it's that one. Radiator fan, definitely. Let's 
probably going to need different belts, so I'll buy all of them. There's only one throttle for it. Uh, we'll buy a timing chain, timing covers. And water pump. Better to be safe than sorry. There we go. Oil pan is screwed on. We got ourselves a timing chain. ROTB So we need a V6B power steering pump that's really odd I'm also going to get, I might put ign performance ignition wires because they're red and they look quite cool. Um, oh yeah, and they've got the performance air filters for it as well. So we'll get an alternator. Yeah, we have some. Um, it's either that or that. I think that's the only performance part I'm going to get, to be honest. Okay, so we need an ROTB one, which we don't have. Um, uh, ignition distributor, just gone past them all. Uh, we don't have any idle rollers. We need a V8 crankshaft pulley. We need two idle roller Bs. Uh, did we get the... Yeah, we got the intake manifold. V8 OHVF carburetor we need. V-A-O-H-V-F. Uh, there we go. Oil filter in. Air filter cover. And we need three clip A's. Here they are. 
Um, let's go here. Part mount. Chocolate A there. Clip A there. And clip A there. We also get ourselves. Uh, oh, did we, we forgot the spark plug. There we go. Um, right, so we need crankshaft pulley. V8 and then two idle roller B's. I've gone past them. There we go. Idle roller B. Two of them. I've never built a rotary engine before because I never had the Mazda DLC in the other game. I don't think I did. Well, there might not even have been a massive DLC. Who knows? Right, so I need to buy some idle roller A's. Another idle roller A as well. And then the radiator fan. Right, fuel filter. I'm literally just listing off the parts that we need. Uh, we also need a fuel pump as well for later. So the clutch is exactly the same, so it's just flywheel, clutch pressure plate, clutch plate, release bearing. That, I think, is the engine built. Well, it looks it anyways. Uh, if I take that. Install it with the engine crane. We now have ourselves a nice brand new engine. Now we can get rid of the engine crane. That's getting in the way. Uh, so, what we need is a brake servo, a battery, a radiator A, and I think the one fan radiator housing, maybe? I don't know. Or was that the other car? So, we need brake servo. That would be under brakes. Battery. And radiator A. Okay, so yeah, we need a radiator A fan housing as well. Um, 
let me plug my phone in quickly. Don't want it to die. Uh, radiator fan housing. Uh, yep. Batteries in. Okay. So we need to lift the car up. We need a middle muffler and a rear V8OHV muffler. I think that's it. Here we go, front exhaust section. Middle muffler, and then... Oh, what's the camera done? There we go, and a rear muffler. Right, that is that done. Now we just need a gearbox put in. ROTA. And I remember it needed a V8 starter from last episode. Do we have starters here? No, we have to go to the engine tab. V8 starter. Oh, I forgot the drive shaft. V8 starter. There we go. Now we just need the drive shaft. I had a mine fart, man. Uh, drive shaft, drive shaft, drive shaft. Uh, part mount. those parts are together now all we've got to do is build the bottom suspension bit uh, let's lower that down so what have we this Mazda is a state have you seen the engine this is gonna be a good project though this is gonna be a really good project Um, so while we're here, I might actually do the welding. Make sure that that's ready. And then also we need interior detailing kit. Make sure that is done. And I think I might rebuild everything now. Front bumper, right headlight, hood.
Do we not have a mirror on the right? Well, that is going to annoy me. Um, we now need interior parts. Um... Okay, I'll just disassemble it. Um... So we need a bench, and we also need two front seats. And a steering wheel. Uh, let's go for seat 10 leather B. Okay, I'm guessing we can't even pick seats for this. Let's just put the RX3 ones in. And I'm as the steering wheel. And assemble the front left door. There we go. We are done with that. And all we've got to do is do the front suspension and the wheels. And this car should be built. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.